Standing 6.6 feet tall, with a skull nearly 3.3 feet long, and jaws powerful enough to crush bones, Deodon could be considered one of the most fearsome predators of ancient North America. Formerly known as the terrible pig, Dinoeus, this giant dominated the lands from the late Oligocene to the early Miocene, approximately 23 to 20 million years ago. However recent scientific discoveries about jaw mechanics tooth wear, patterns and genetic analysis have revealed a surprising truth that completely changes how we perceive this prehistoric creature. Picture a creature standing 5.9 to 6.9 feet tall at the shoulder, stalking the plains of ancient Nebraska with a skull approaching 2.9 feet in length and jaws equipped with anatomy designed for cracking bone and accessing marrow. This was Deoden, a predator that dominated North American floodplains during the late Oligocene to early Miocene. Its massive proportions represented nature's experiment in creating an impressive bone processing machine. The skull architecture that made Deodon so formidable featured large temporal fossae, a pronounced sagittal crest, and expanded cheek flanges that served as muscle attachment areas, indicating powerful orthal bite mechanics. Despite their relatively small brain cases, intelodonts possessed large olfactory bulbs, suggesting a keen sense of smell that would have been crucial for locating carcasses across vast landscapes. Fossil evidence from Nebraska's agate beds reveals Deodon's feeding habits through bite marks left on camel and rhinoceros bones. The puncture patterns match with Deodon's dental formula, showing penetrations that cracked through thick bone to reach marrow inside. These fossil bones display distinctive pie crust wear patterns on Deodon's premolars, while heavy enamel deposits on its canines reveal a lifetime spent processing tough materials. Supporting this massive skull required equally impressive body architecture. Deodon possessed a bison-like shoulder region and prominent dorsal spine that created the structural foundation for carrying such an enormous head. This created a top heavy predator unlike anything alive today, raising questions about how such proportions could function effectively. The mystery of how Deodon's massive skull avoided breaking its own neck reveals specialized adaptations in neck musculature. Thick, powerful muscles connected the skull to reinforce cervical vertebrae, creating a suspension system that could handle the stresses of violent feeding behaviors. Some intelodonts like Archaeotherium could achieve gape angles of nearly 109 degrees, and Deodon likely shared similar adaptations for opening its jaws wide enough to engulf substantial portions of carcasses. This bone-crushing system dominated ancient American landscapes for millions of years. Yet the very features that made Deodon appear so fearsome raise deeper questions about its true evolutionary relationships and what those connections reveal about its actual place in prehistoric ecosystems. For over a century, scientists classified this terrible pig alongside modern swine, but combined morphological analyses and molecular studies of living artiodactyls tied to fossil data revealed a connection so unexpected it forced paleontologists to rewrite entire evolutionary trees. Early 20th century paleontologists placed intelodonts within Suina, grouping them with pigs and peccaries based on their pig-like appearance and omnivorous teeth. The classification seemed logical given Deodon's snout shape and grinding molars that resembled those of modern swine species. Revolutionary work by Spalding, O'Leary and Gatesy in the 2000s challenged everything scientists thought they knew about intelodont relationships. Modern analyses combining fossil anatomy and genetic trees of living relatives moved intelodonts out of Suina and nearer hippos and cetaceans within Cetancodontomorpha. This discovery sent shockwaves through paleontological communities that had accepted pig ancestry for decades. That shift means Deodon's pig-like look is convergent. Similar feeding adaptations evolved independently rather than evidence of close relationship to modern pigs. Distinctive skull and dental features suddenly made sense when viewed through the lens of hippo 
and early cetacean relationships rather than pig ancestry. The massive temporal fossae and pronounced sagittal crest that housed enormous jaw muscles aligned with characteristics found in early whale lineages. Even Deodon's tooth arrangement showed patterns consistent with ancestors of marine mammals rather than terrestrial pig relatives. Seeing intelodonts as part of the broader hippo whale clade reframes anatomical comparisons and suggests convergences with groups that use display jaw power and head-driven social tactics. The connection to early whale ancestors like Pachycetus revealed shared anatomical features in jaw structure and tooth arrangement that had been overlooked when scientists assumed pig ancestry. Deodon represents a branch of the mammalian tree that experimented with massive terrestrial omnivory while its cousins took to the seas. This evolutionary context reveals that understanding Deodon requires examining it not as a giant pig, but as a land-dwelling relative of some of the ocean's most successful mammals. The implications of this relationship fundamentally change how we interpret every aspect of Deodon's lifestyle and dietary preferences. But the most surprising revelations about what Deodon actually ate would come from examining evidence preserved at the microscopic level. Microscopic scratches on ancient teeth revealed the most startling discovery about intelodont feeding behavior. The landmark 2023 microware study by rivals and colleagues analyzed Intelodon Magnos teeth from European sites and compared them to 10 categories of modern mammal diets. This research method examines tiny wear patterns created by different food types, providing direct evidence of what these ancient creatures actually ate. The long held image of Entelodonts as Terminator pig predators crumbled when microware evidence clustered Entelodon magnus with omnivores like wild boars rather than pure carnivores. The teeth showed specific microware patterns that indicated seasonal dietary flexibility with clear evidence of plant processing, root consumption, and opportunistic meat eating. These microscopic scratches told a story of an animal that adapted its feeding habits based on available resources rather than specializing in hunting alone. This strongly suggests intelodonts as a group were flexible omnivores and that diodon may have had similar habits, though direct microware analysis on diodon remains limited. The famous Poe Brotherium camel bone bed discovery at Douglas, Wyoming, initially seemed to support pure predatory behavior, but actually revealed sophisticated food storage strategies documented for Archaeotherium. Multiple small camel carcasses found together suggested some intelodonts cached meat, like modern bears storing resources for lean periods. Such behaviors are consistent with omnivorous opportunistic feeding strategies that Diodon may have shared. Isotope and taphonomic records show intelodont occurrences concentrated around waterholes and suggest droughts may have stressed populations during the Miocene. Intraspecific bite marks and skull injuries revealed violent competition over carcasses and territory similar to modern bears fighting over salmon runs. These wounds appeared on skull crests and facial bones, indicating face-to-face -face confrontations between individuals competing for prime feeding locations. The injuries healed over time, showing these were social conflicts rather than predator attacks. The same robust jaw anatomy that allowed bone crushing could also process tough plant material and serve display or combat functions supported by jaw musculature analyses and evidence of healed facial bite marks. Deodon's ferocity was actually an incredibly successful survival strategy that allowed it to exploit virtually any food source in its environment. This dietary flexibility helped it thrive across diverse habitats for millions of years from woodland areas to open plains. Yet even this remarkable adaptability would eventually prove insufficient against the forces reshaping ancient America. One of the most distinctive features on the Deodon's skull was the bony flanges on its cheeks, often referred to as warts. Scientists have proposed several hypotheses regarding their function. These bony growths might have acted as a form of armor protecting the face during fights for mates or territory. They could also have served as attachment points for extremely powerful jaw muscles, which would have increased its bite force. A simpler explanation is that they were a display feature used to attract mates 
or demonstrate social dominance. These characteristics once again confirm that Deodon was a complex creature, not merely a giant pig, but a unique example of evolution with specialized anatomical features for a sophisticated and successful lifestyle. Despite being perfectly engineered for survival with bone crushing jaws, dietary flexibility and massive size, Deodon vanished from North America around 16 million years ago, leaving behind only fossils and questions. The late Oligocene to early Miocene transition brought climate cooling and habitat shifts that began reshaping North American ecosystems in ways that would prove fatal to these giants. Entelodont extinction around 16 million years ago likely reflects multiple factors, climate driven habitat change and droughts, plus increased competition from new predators, including various amphicionids and later felids and changing prey communities. Some researchers propose amphicionids contributed to decline, but the timing and role vary by region. So competition is likely part of a multi-causal story rather than a single driving force. These bear dogs possessed similar bone crushing abilities, but operated with greater efficiency and smaller energy requirements. Evidence of increasing aridity and grassland expansion reduced the diverse food sources Deodon's omnivorous strategy depended upon. Forest habitats that provided roots, fruits, and varied prey species gave way to open grasslands with fewer plant varieties and different animal communities. The dietary flexibility that once made Deodon successful became less valuable when fewer food types remained available across its range. Deodon's massive energy requirements became a liability when resources became scarce, unlike smaller, more efficient competitors. A single adult Deodon needed substantially more calories per day than multiple smaller predators combined. This disadvantage compounded during seasonal food shortages when smaller carnivores could survive on limited resources while Deodon populations face starvation. Deodon becomes rarer in late records and is eventually absent by around 16 million years ago. Paleontologists interpret this pattern as population decline consistent with ecological stress from multiple environmental pressures. The same adaptations that made Deodon successful ultimately contributed to its vulnerability during environmental change. Massive size and energy intensive lifestyle worked perfectly in stable resource, rich environments, but became fatal flaws when conditions shifted rapidly. Deodon shows that being a physical powerhouse doesn't guarantee long-term survival when climate and ecosystems shift rapidly. Yet this extinction story reveals something profound about how scientific understanding itself evolves, forcing us to question everything we thought we knew about these ancient giants. Although Deodon is extinct, its presence in pop culture continues. The depiction of Deodon in popular culture is often based on the classic terrible pig, Dinohyus image, a huge, fierce and terrifying predator. Instead of being portrayed as a flexible omnivore, it is often cast as a bone-crushing monster or a formidable opponent in fictional works. A prime example is the video game Ark Survival Evolved. In this game, Deodon is called a war pig and has the unique ability to heal itself and its allies by consuming large amounts of food. Despite this capability, its appearance remains very menacing with sharp pointed canines. Deodon's portrayal in science fiction documentaries also tends to focus on its ferocious look, emphasizing its powerful jaws and strength to create drama, fitting the narrative of a prehistoric overlord. Diodon's transformation from terrible pig to sophisticated omnivore demonstrates how scientific discovery continuously challenges our assumptions about prehistoric life. Phylogenetic work places entelodonts inside Cetanchodontomorpha closer to hippos and cetaceans than to modern pigs. The next time you encounter a fearsome looking prehistoric creature, remember that appearances can be deceiving and the real story often lies hidden in microscopic tooth scratches and evolutionary relationships. The real payoff here is seeing how new methods, micro wear and integrated phylogenetics change long held ideas about well-known fossils. 
If we can be so wrong about something as well studied as Deoden, what other prehistoric mysteries are waiting to be rewritten by future discoveries? Every fossil holds secrets that current technology might finally unlock tomorrow. Knowing what we now do about intelligent diets and relationships, do you still see Deodon as a fearsome predator or a brawny generalist? Tell us why in the comments.